Hi there, this is Bob Burridge, and welcome to uh, another Bob Blast. Uh, this week it's about going to be uh, about the inside your studio and how do you get started. I'm asked this question all the time. How do I get started? Well, first of all, I, I've already written down my goals for the day in my sketchbook, and I have some ideas, and then I come into the studio, and, uh, well, I paint flat on a flat table. And on this flat table, as you can see, um, I stretch really tightly this four mil plastic, get it at the hardware store, and I tape it down really, really, really tight on the table because it's gonna come in handy a little bit later on. And then my paper um, is all glued down with tape. Let's use some tape here. And just tape it down on a board. That way I can move it around, get rid of it, and come in with another painting, usually a series. And so when I talk about a series, I mean doing one over and over and over. It's like practicing. So before I even work on the big painting, I like to work on a series of something. And I'll do many of them, one right after another. Okay. There's some flowers, there's some flowers. And so uh, I'll do this right here. And I work flat because I use a lot of water. I have a water bucket. Make sure it's really close to the same level. I have my brushes ready to go. And I only put on the table what's going to serve me for the painting. So I don't put on all the colors. Uh, so I use my color wheel and uh, pull out my colors that I'm going to be using. That's it. And uh, I have spray bottles of water and one with uh, rubbing alcohol in it. Okay, and so before I start, I review my, my goals for the painting. So we have what I call the four C's, the letter C. The first one is, uh, well, what's the concept? I mean, you know, am I going to be doing a whole bunch of pears or flowers or landscapes? So I write down what the concept. Another way of saying that is, what's the big idea? Okay. Um, then I get my colors out. That's the second C. The first C is what's the concept. Second C is what's the color. And then the third C is what's the composition, the design. I have a chart that I refer to. You can use anyone's chart, but there's the chart that I use. It has 12 designs on it that helps me in my studio. So I get to pick one. It's a little easier for me, right? And so I walk over here, and I know what I'm about to do, and then you continue that series. That's the fourth C. So the first color, what's the concept? Uh, what's the color? What's the composition? And then you continue the series over and over and over. And that's how I get started practicing. I'll see you next time. Hey, I have three great workshops I can't wait to tell you. They're coming up real soon here in May. It's the Contemporary Materials for Contemporary Times. And it's the National Watercolor Society. Yay, down there in Los Angeles area. I can't wait. It's gonna be around May 22nd to the 24th. Three days of painting. I'm gonna be doing a demo on that afternoon. And this is the show that I actually got a chance to jury. I can't wait to see the originals and put in my final uh, remarks. So that's coming up pretty soon, May 22nd, at the National Watercolor Society. I can't believe it's gonna be so great. The next one I have coming up here is here in the Hudson River Valley Art Workshop in upstate New York. It's right near Albany, by the way. And that's a great place, great historic place. We get to stay there. They feed us with Master Chef Mark and the wonderful hostess, Kim, takes care of everything. And I love going there, a lot of breakthroughs. About 20 people show up and we stay there, we sleep there, great accommodations, you won't believe. It, and the best food in the world. You will gain weight and you'll be painting a whole lot too. I love it. It's very comfortable. And don't forget the Dillmans, they put together this wonderful river cruise in Paris all the way up to Giverny and up to uh, uh, Normandy and then we come back down. It's a fantastic uh, cruise workshop and uh, it's in April in Paris. Who doesn't want to go to Paris in April? So it's more of a sketching on location, relaxful, colored pencil, pencils and our sketchbook on location so we don't have to schlep all that luggage and all the you know easels and stuff and then we'll be back on our river cruise boat for longer painting time and of course great food i can't wait so remember you go to the dillmans.com to check out the schedule it is filling up i should tell you that thanks for watching this has been great and i hope to see you at the next workshops